Zoe Saldana has made an expensive purchase for a new home in the upscale Montecito community, where Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are still staying since their royal family exit in 2020. As such, Saldana would, of course, like to throw a housewarming party for the new place she has just bought and invite some friends from the area, like Oprah Winfrey and Ellen DeGeneres. Word is that Saldana had also extended an invitation to Harry and Meghan in consideration of the fact that they are neighbors. The only problem was that things turned a little bit awkward and the Sussexes turned up to the party. The air turned completely, according to sources, the very minute Harry and Meghan walked in. All the mingling celebrities and their drinks turned stiff, and so did the conversation. Everyone was whispering to each other and staring at the royal couple. It appears that there are only some of the celebrities who just haven't got enough appreciation for Harry and Meghan after the couple stepped back from the royal duties and moved to America. There has been speculation that Oprah is one of the only A-list friends they have in Montecito. The other celebrities, equally, were not feeling it that Harry and Meghan brought their massive security detail and entourage to the intimate housewarming. Word is that Zoe Saldana noticed how uncomfortable her other guests became as soon as Harry and Meghan showed up. She could see them chatting in the corner while others avoided them. She felt really bad for screwing up the vibe of her own party. It was said that Zoe politely asked an assistant to let Harry and Meghan know that it is time. The assistant then escorted them out through the back door, so as not to cause an even bigger scene. Word reportedly got back to Harry and Meghan about what went down, and the two were reportedly mortified. One source close to the pair says they felt totally humiliated being thrown out of a party by their new neighbor, Zoe Saldana. The source added that Meghan felt the celebrities were just being mean and unwelcoming to them because they were the new kids on the block. Others connected to the A-listers argued that they had only found Harry and Meghan insufferable after Megxit and turning into woke poster stars. The couple mentioned that Harry and Meghan brought unwanted media and drew, leading to stress for the low-key celebrities, who value their privacy. The celebs reportedly think Harry and Meghan too grandstand why and use their royal titles for clout in America. All of the drama of being thrown out of Zoe Saldana's party is what reportedly caused a huge rift between Harry and Meghan and some of their celebrity neighbors. The royal pair has reached out actively to make connections in Montecito with their wealthy and high-profile new neighbors. But now, of course, things are said to have changed for the worse. Some sources point to Harry and Meghan stopping socializing in Montecito and not talking to Clooney's, Paltrow's, and other celebs. Meanwhile, Zoe Saldana hasn't addressed this reported fiasco directly. But one insider said she now rues inviting Harry and Meghan to her housewarming because they didn't seem to gel with her low-key circle of Hollywood actors and directors, mostly, rather than royalty. At the end of the day, it would seem that the time of Harry and Meghan as working royals and now with their royal titles in Montecito celebrity circles is more a cause of friction than one that harbors that sense of ease. But in a place like Montecito, where there is value attached to the privacy away from the line of paparazzi scrutiny, world domination lines blur. Rarely does it seem to fit in that they move as smoothly among the elite A-listers in Montecito, with Harry and Meghan living day after day under the glare of the media. Royal experts suggested why major celebrities may have refused to associate with Harry and Meghan at this time. One of them said Oscar winners and billionaires simply do not view Harry and Meghan on the same level of the social stratosphere as themselves, although Meghan had a brief acting career. The royals still come across as nouveau riche social climbers to them. Another reason is that, while the celebs look up to Harry for his Invictus games, they have criticized some of his and Meghan's political views, finding them naive on matters concerning average Americans. The performative wokeism and the $130 million Netflix deals, therefore, were criticized as hypocritical, given the two's lavish lifestyle. This sets, pretty much, 
Meghan and Harry an uphill task to win the trust and friendship of the Montecito elite, including Oprah, Clooney, and Paltrow. Getting booted out of Zoe Saldana's party doesn't seem likely to help change those perceptions any more than the celebrities at that party have of them. Only time will tell if they can, beyond being neighbors in Montecito, gain real acceptance into their new Californian celebrity circle or whether they remain the perpetual outsiders. That's just a quick breakdown of all the juicy details swirling around about whether or not Zoe Saldana actually did throw Harry and Meghan out of her A-lister housewarming soiree in Montecito.